Joining us now on Notre Dame Day is John Cavadini, Professor of Theology and McGrath Cavadini, Director of the McGrath Institute for Church Life. And he is here to talk about receiving the prestigious Expanded Reason Award from the Joseph Ratzinger Benedict XVI Vatican Foundation and the Universidad Francisco de Vitoria. John, welcome to Notre Dame Day. It's a pleasure thank to have you. Thank you very much. Pleasure uh, to be here. Oh, thank you for being here. And congratulations, let me say, first, and all, first of all, on winning this award. And tell me about the project for which you and your colleagues received this. Thank you. Well, this is a project. It's an outreach project from the university to Catholic schools in the, in the, um, in the subject of science and religion. Because successive studies have shown that one of the major reasons young people leave the faith is because of of a perceived conflict between science and religion. So we had the idea to try to mount a program which would reach out not to high school students directly, but to their teachers. So this program is oriented towards high school teachers of biology, physics, and theology. And we, we gather teams of teachers from Catholic high schools, and we bring them here for a week in the summer to um, offer workshops, et cetera, for them so that they can go back to their schools with a new kind of pedagogy in this in this subject. So tell me a little bit more then about the science and religion re, science and religion initiative and what you hope to accomplish out of this project. Well, what we hope to accomplish eventually is a kind of uh, uniform pedagogy in Catholic schools on science and religion that um, that that begins to dispel this myth that science and religion are necessarily in conflict. Okay. Very good, very good. Now, you, you guys won, won this award. Tell me, what do you think this recognition means kind of for the greater good of the McGrath Institute? Well, it's always nice to be recognized <laughs> <laughs> for one's work. Sure. Uh, and certainly it, it makes the work better known, and therefore it makes it, uh, it makes it so that more people seek it out, and it makes it f therefore so that we, we reach more people with it. So it's a huge boost, and we're really happy to receive it. And we're able now to add not only this one week for high school students, uh, high school teachers in the summer, but we also have follow-up programs so they can come back for a second year. And we also are able to, we send people out, we send our people out to Catholic high schools for institute days on this subject. And that's a very popular, popular um, project. Awesome. So you've got this expanding platform now. Tell me more about some of the upcoming programs from the McGrath Institute that, that you're working on. Well, our upcoming uh, programs, we we're, we're getting ready to welcome upwards of 1,500 high school students this summer for the, um, for the Notre Dame Vision Program. This is a beloved program of the Institute, which, in, which uh, involves Catholic students from high schools, Catholic high schools across the country. Uh, and then we have our ECHO program, which trains catechetical leaders for dioceses and parishes. So that's going to be welcoming all our students back this summer. And then we have just this Sunday our May crowning. So it's our annual May crowning event to celebrate the um, fifth mystery of the rosary. Mary is crowned queen of heaven and earth. Uh, and that's traditionally celebrated in early in May. Mm -hmm. You guys are very busy. I appreciate you taking a few mm -hmm. minutes out to talk to us on Notre Absolutely. Dame Day. Absolutely. Thank you. John Cavadini, always a pleasure. Uh